Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. Welcome back. It's 23 after the hour. Thank you very much for staying with me. My pleasure to continue to be with you. I'm Jim Blassingame, and uh, you're listening to the Small Business Advocate Show. If you put a .com on the end of that, smallbusinessadvocate.com, you'll be able to find all the things that we do online, the articles, the archives, the Brain Trust members, the newsletter. We subscribe. You can subscribe to that. We'll send that to you every Sunday afternoon by email. And uh, all the other things there you can read, you can listen, you can ask questions. You got five seconds, 15 minutes, we got, uh, or anywhere in between, we got something you can do there that will help you with your small business, the one you're starting, the one you're growing, maybe even the one you're trying to get rid of. We'll, we'll do what we can to help you. And one of the people who helps us do that is our good friend Wally Baca, an original member, founding member of our Brain Trust, uh, the author of Cyber Power for Business and among other books. Wally, one of the things I'd like for you to talk to us about now is 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 helping us continue this conversation that I've been trying that I've been having with my audience about how to how to incorporate the new ways of connecting with people uh you know one, once upon a time we, we we everything was face to face then somebody invented the, you know the telegraph and somebody invented the telephone and and the mail and you know and, and et cetera et cetera now we got this we got all this fancy new stuff some of it some you know some of it's called social media I prefer to call it connecting with people online or online customer communities online you know online but uh but you've been doing quite a bit of work on this and i want you to and, and since you're someone who was kind of heavily involved in the internet in the early stages give us give connect the two connect where we've come from on the internet to where we're going now well i think i think we're at an interesting stage and it's it's a stage similar to one we had uh, in the beginning of the web and i call it the we have to be a, we have to do it in this case social media what do we do now we got people who get on to, for example, Twitter or LinkedIn or something for all the wrong reasons. They, you know, they go out for a golf game. Their golf partner says, oh, right. "Wow, our company, you know, is on Twitter." So it's, now we go down and we get on Twitter, but we have no clue about what we're doing. We haven't connected it up to strategy. We haven't thought through exactly what happens uh, in this kind of a situation. So there's such a thing uh, as a Twitter strategy? Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is, uh, and it varies a lot if you're a big or a small business. Most of the large businesses that I see there, they've got a, you know, a formal kind of thing. They've got people assigned. Mostly what they're doing is trying to get uh, to, A, monitor what's going on. Uh, with to, see, the brand to see what's the being said so about forth. them. What's being said about them and catch it early. And yeah. I mean, that's, a, that's another thing that you see. You know, if, if somebody comes out there and is starting to say things about you, Issuing a press release a week later doesn't help you right. in today's world. Having somebody well, the- there who not only catches it but can respond and say, you know, we didn't know about that. Let, we're going to check into it and actually does it and comes back and does that dialogue thing. Your thing about, you know, it's human beings connecting regardless right. of the medium is true. Right. Well, and, and so and so and not only having that person there doing all the things you said – but actually having the ability to to leverage the people who can fix it because the person on Twitter probably can't physically literally themselves fix it they they've got to have a support team who can do that and the company has to make that commitment right and there and and that's the kind of commitments uh companies that have done this real well uh Best Buy has been very good at it uh they've gone in and out Ford has done very well do you think this. small business owners will be would be surprised to find how many times People have 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 twittered that well. I had a meal at uh, at Joe's, uh, you know, Joe's Bean Barn, and uh, boy, that, those beans weren't as good as they used to be. You think people would be surprised <laughs> at how how often that happens? I think I think they would. Uh, there's an interesting. There's a restaurant up in Greensboro, North Carolina, called Undercurrents, and it's one of the it's one of the best restaurants in the city. It's also got one of the best Twitter presences, and the reason huh. it's a good Twitter presence is that if you mention them. They'll thank you for mentioning them, and they'll offer oh. you, a, you know, a discount. And if you say something that's, you know, geez, they wouldn't, you know, the service wasn't as good as as usual. Mm-hmm. They will.
will not say, oh, what are you talking about? They'll get into a thing about, well, what, what was wrong with it? Mm-hmm. You know, what's, what's different? What would you have liked to have di- different? Now, that doesn't mean they're going to solve the problem. Isn't that opening up a can of worms? Isn't that kind of sure, creating the possibility sure of a lot of, a lot of bogus conversation? It does, and you and you have to, uh, small business has to be aware of that. Big business can assign people to it. Yeah. Small businesses, the, the the thing is different. If you're a business that has customers who wander in and service is a big thing, like any kind of a restaurant, I would think. Uh, I think I think you need to watch what's going on, and I think you need to have the conversation because that conversation is going to happen anyway. The people who you know who go to your restaurant who see that are going to have that conversation, whether you participate or not. Mm-hmm. So you, well, you need, well, one you need of the to things, jump into as, it. As we, as we wrap up here, Wally, on this, one of the things that you've helped us, you reminded us about, and, and folks, I hope you take to heart, is that even if you don't yet, aren't really leveraging Twitter yet, you're not really on it, you need to be there, you need to be in attendance, so that when, when somebody calls your name, you can, you can, you know, you you know what's being said. You can defend it. You can leverage it if it's something good or whatever it may be. That's to me. That's the the big message for people who are just kind of getting started. What do you think, Wally? I think I think that's true. I think the other thing is you need to watch it so that you get a sense of how it can work for you. Learn. Do do some do some get some education. Yep. Spend some time. Yeah. Do some stuff. Give us the website quickly one more time blog dot three star leadership all written out like one word dot com blog dot three star leadership dot com hey wally thanks for being here good job today thanks for 12 great years 13 great years i should say 13 great years we'll do some more social media next time jim let's do it again thanks okay. quick break thanks. stay with me i'll be right back insperity presents the small business advocate show with jim blassingame brought to you by fedex careerbuilder.com and palo alto software this is a copyrighted production of small business network inc intended for the private use of our audience except as otherwise provided by copyright law all other copying redistribution or publication without prior written consent is prohibited all rights reserved prohibited all rights reserved prohibited